Hello, my name's John and welcome to this, the 16th A Coat of Armies painting tutorial for Warlord Games Epic Scale Napoleonics. Today I'm having a bash at these chaps here, the Curassier, pronounce it however you will. Um, so let's see how I ended up uh, arriving at this. Right, so here we are again. Uh, got the good old cheap black primer for the undercoat, uh, the Corax White dry brush, and Kiss Left Flesh. Um, I'm only going to do the faces, I'm going to do these uh, chaps with gloves. Vallejo's London Grey on the trousers, and it seems I have uh, an assistant today. Games Workshop's uh, Cantor Blue for the sleeves and saddlecloths. Vallejo Brown Leather for the uh, horse tack and the stirrups. A quick bath in uh, Games Workshop's Agraph Earthshade. Just to add a little bit of dirtiness to them. Not going to come out looking parade ground perfect, are they? Games Workshop's uh, lead belcher for the uh, sword blade, cuirass, stirrups, and part of the helmet. And around the other side, the uh, scabbard. So, Games Workshop's uh, Corax white, just to uh, do some white prep for the uh, bits and pieces you need to stand out. So, I've done the gloves, epaulets. Sash, saddlecloth, ties for the uh, scabbard there, and the little frilly bits on the just poking out of the edge of the breastplate. Vallejo brass for the uh, helmet crest, sword guard, and the straps on the breastplate. Games Workshop uh, Evil Sun Scarlet for the saddle trim, epaulets, bits around the uh, breastplate, and the unit marker on the helmet. And Vallejo off white for the glove sash, sadly bits. Just to finish up, I've done a, a very light Celestra grey dry brush over the plume and tail and mane on the horse. Um, added the white top of the white socks around the boots, the silver diamond uh, badge thing on their uh, sash. And I think we can call this done. <laughs> 